guys hello and welcome I just want to show you a quick tutorial on how to achieve a fake gash or open wound in the skin using some simple products um, that aren't really cost-effective I apologize I do not want to show my face today I do not have makeup on uh, and Please forgive me for my horrible fingernails, I'm so embarrassed. Um, okay, so some materials you'll need, some sponges, um, they can be drugstore sponges, any sponges you really have on hand, um, a couple of q-tips, some cotton balls, toiletry, tissue paper, toilet paper, uh, most important product, duo glue is very important. Uh, to achieve this look. Any foundation and or concealer that matches your skin color in the area that you will be applying. Um, setting powder and transparent, doesn't matter what brand, really just whatever you use. Any transparent finishing powder will work. Um, a natural setting powder, this is just my choice, just to make um, the gash look more realistic. I am using a darker shade of foundation, you can do that, and or concealer. Um, to achieve multiple different tones because skin it is multiple skin tones um, in here you can see my undertones you can see a couple veins uh, a couple of pigmentation like freckles and that sort of things uh, you have to take into effect when wanting your special effects makeup to look realistic also lastly um, some fake blood I use Ben Nye Fresh Scab. It's pretty inexpensive. You can get it online. <clears throat> you can also go to any Halloween or um, Party City store and get some fake blood. Um, very not, very not very expensive. Not very cost effective either. This stuff is just really legit. I love the way it looks. It's very realistic. Okay, so I'm going to start by getting a cotton ball. Just one really don't need a lot at all. This is going to be like a small little cut. I'm going to be creating a cut that looks like someone who pretty much just sliced their arm. I, I'm not going to do it right here, even though that's where people, we're not going to get into that. I'm just not doing it right here because it's my tattoo and that's complicated and a whole nother tutorial to cover up tattoos. I mean, I'm going to do it up here. Especially since I can make it a little bigger and a little bit more um, dramatic right here. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of cotton and I'm going to take some Duo. Uh, you can use a plate or whatever you want. Forgive me, my palette's dirty. But I'm going to just pull off a little strips. So I'm going to start small. You always want to start small. You don't want to go too too dramatic. If you don't want to use your brushes, just use a, a Q-tip. So right now what I'm doing is just mushing it into the cotton swab and look now my fingers are all sticky. If you can find a cheaper adhes adhesive, um, use that. A little piece of tissue. I'm going to lay that there, press a little adhesive onto it, and that's just going to help me smooth that edge down to give me a more seamless line, I guess you could say. This is just for Halloween, you're just like going out and you want to like look spooky or zombified or anything like that of that sort. I mean, this doesn't have to be so perfect. So if you need it to look a little bit more gash between, then you can always take like a toothpick. I'm looking for something I can use. Um, something that's more to sharp and define. Not sharp, but like define. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to take a pair of scissors. Please don't do this at home, people. I'm using the back side, it's not the sharp side, and I'm literally just gonna come in between and slash that. 
And it helps me open it up, make it look more like a balloon. Use it a little glue at a time. Um, it doesn't usually take that long to dry, but if you use too much, you know, the layers of the glue will take a little while. Alright, so what I just did was added a little extra toilet paper to the other side. Just gonna gently tap on it so I don't move it too much. So I don't wanna lift it up. Alright, so I am going to smooth this out right here. Just because I don't want it like too crazy looking and I mean it's supposed to look like a gash, not a <clears throat> not a infected gash, just a gash. So now I'm going to take some translucent finishing powder, little sponge. I'm just gonna do this to kind of help dry it. Actually, it would be easier if I just took a little brush and sprinkled it on there. Don't go all crazy with the glue like I did because you don't want all this texture on the sides here. You want it to be seamless. So if you see any lifts anywhere, just kind of either use your hand to peel it off. You want to peel off the whole look though. Or just use a little water and try to like wet it down a little. I'm just going to leave it just for the sake of, you know, I don't care. Just start around the outside. And tap, tap, tapping around. You don't want to lose that build. So I'm going to push along the outside. I really want that foundation to blend out. So you do want to make sure that you go further than the actual cut with the makeup. Because if not, then you're just going to have like that one kind of makeup look. And that's, that's not what we want, right? I want to be able to get in these creases and cover everything. I'm going to put a little bit more translucent powder on top because you want to do this in like stages. So now I'm going to go in with that darker color. This is just face and body foundation. I like it because it's sheer. Just pick up a little bit here and there, not all over, because you want it to separate. I'm just going to take a little extra off. And what I'm doing is kind of creating the dimension to the skin, giving the kind of, I don't want to say freckly, but kind of like the, you see how like the skin has these little spots on it. It's not fully one color. It's always multiple colors. So now at this point you can use a small defining brush or your q-tip. Um, I can show you both. I just want to use this tiny brush just because I want to get as little in there as possible. Okay so you can either leave it like sliced like that or you can make it messier, kind of make it drooping, bloodier, more dramatic. I want it darker. 